Now you might be asking why I haven't posted for two weeks and that's because I've been on holiday but I'm back now and I'm excited to show you all the new growth on my Saracenias and Nepenthes. So let's start with the Saracenia or American pitcher plants. Now the most noticeable growth on any plant is on my Saracenia Falava Capuya. Now the Capuya variety is known for having this coppery coloration on the hoods, which you can certainly see coming on these newer pitchers. But on this first one, it hasn't really shown up, probably because it was the first picture of the season. And I love this specific variety from Triffid Park because it has this subtle veining on the inside of the pictures. The next plant that's grown since I was away is this Saracenia oreophylla from Triffid Park. I'm actually really surprised because this too has produced copper coloration on its hoods and I've never known that to happen on an oreophylla. Also, this plant usually produces its best pitchers late in the season, so I'm excited to see what this pitcher will turn out to be, as this plant actually has two points on its rhizome. The next plant is my Saracenia Daniel Rudd, which is a hybrid that includes Saracenia leucophila, Flava and Purpurea. I love this plant because of its easiness of growth and it has this wonderful coloration. And the last Saracenia for this video is the Saracenia Falava Atropurpurea Falava Red Chew 1-1. It's a bit of a mouthful. This plant I actually got as a bare root rhizome from the pitcher plantation. I'll link his Instagram in the description below. And you can see this rhizome has three points and it's putting out two flowers and a couple new pitchers. And I wouldn't normally include a plant with only that much growth, but keep in mind, I actually got these bare root. So this growth is actually pretty impressive. Let's move on to the Nepenthes. First up, we have this upper picture on one of my Nepenthes ventricosa. You can see it has much lighter coloration than the red lower pictures down the bottom here on the basil. And I like Nepenthes ventricosa just because of its simplicity. This is one of the first Nepenthes species I ever got. And I find it's really cheap because this species is actually fairly common. The next Nepenthes is this huge clump of Nepenthes ventricosa crostruncata. You can see all the new pitchers hanging down. And this plant produces many large pitchers every year. We're almost done, but some of the last plants I've actually hung inside the umbrella stand, which is a bit of a new idea I had before I left. And this large one is an Nepenthes Roco. It's a cross between Maxima and Thorellii, I believe. It's got two pitchers about to open. And the one behind it with these pitchers is an Nepenthes Maxima. And speaking of that Maxima, I probably need to repot it because it's about to fall out of its pot. And the last plant has actually transitioned from lower pitches to upper pitches while I've been away. This is my Nepenthes Rebecca Soper. And on one of the pitches that are inflating, you can see it has this mottling, which signifies that this plant will soon be moving to its green upper pitches. I just dug out an even newer picture, which you can see is totally green compared to this purple coloration on the lowers. So I'm very excited for when this plant starts vining because I used to have a massive specimen and the upper pictures are just spectacular. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one.